that's the thing about community. You don't notice it until you're not in it. And then you look around and I wonder if people understand me. So I started at Kickstand just fixing my bike every once in a while. I would, it really was my sister that brought me here. I had never fixed a flat tire. I didn't even consider it. I was riding, I started commuting on my bike, and if I got a flat tire, um, I would just take it to a shop. It didn't cross my mind to, um, to fix it myself. Uh, and then my sister got really involved in Kickstand, and she was like, yeah, you can fix a flat tire, it's not that hard. <laughs> it's just nice. It's nice hearing you try to like heave those bits in like as quietly as possible when obviously it's impossible. <laughs> this is like very much a do-it-yourself kind of space, and like more of a facilitation project of like facilitating people to do their own thing. I'm not sure how I could compare it to other bike shops that I've been to, but I definitely the thing I, I really like about Kickstand is how the focus is on making other people learn <laughs> and like really making them learn like not taking tools out of people's hands not messing around with people's bikes without their permission and i think it's a real testament to how how good a space it is that like even on a beautiful day like today there's still like what 20 people in here in a basement just playing with bikes it's great <laughs> yeah <laughs> I think I think having subsidized rent from Britannia is um, is is a huge support to the work that is done here because it allows us to make our services way more accessible. Um, Britannia has been around since 1976 was when we opened, and Britannia has a. Uh, long history in community activism. The society's uh, objective really is to um, be able to support residents and community members who live in the neighborhood, who work in the neighborhood, who play in the neighborhood, and you know, Kickstand contributes so much to the community. Um, I mean, there are volunteers who keep this shop open, you know, gosh, sometimes six days a week, and probably in the summer seven days a week, on volunteer resources. And that is their, you know, it's been five years now, and that continues to be their purpose. So I've worked in community bike shops in Vancouver for about 11 years now. I worked at our community bikes on Main Street uh, for eight years and I've been up here at the bike kitchen for now for three years um, and I also have spent some time at kickstand and as a person who's been a staff person at the community bike shop for 11 years I really think that spaces that are purely volunteer run like kickstand are essential to the community bike shop experience because that really personifies what the community bike shop space is actually about you know, it's about people coming together, building community, and like uh, supporting active transportation together, helping one another access uh, things at low cost, doing recycling, doing um, sort of like this eco activism, and like uh, and the community building. And I think the community building gets lost in a space where you mostly have paid staff. Yeah, I think like what motivates me to like be involved in these spaces and stuff like that is. I think just ideal ideas about like that the way forward is like collaboration and community um, and that 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 learning really how to do that and like working together is like the way towards like healing and um, deconstructing like hyper individualism and like the commodification of relationships and that's why I see community bike shops as being so huge because like yeah we're we're sharing tools and we're um you know at kickstand we're volunteers and you know we are sharing knowledge and skills and tools and um yeah i think i'm motivated by that i'd say one of my favorite things about the space or the idea of it is that because vancouver 
Canada, most of the world is 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 you know in this capitalistic society where your time is money and everything's commodified. I feel like when I'm here volunteering, I'm working outside of that system. So and other people are donating bikes and parts here. I'm donating my time, and thus we can. If people come in here and they don't have money, we can still help them. So we get tons of donations. The back of our shop uh, barely has space for what we have, and we're just constantly trying to process it. But um, our donations come in either a lot of, I would say most of them, are probably just people bringing them in. So the way that the three community bike shops in Vancouver work together is through a coalition called the Vancouver the Vancouver Community Bike Shop Network, or VCBN. We have a pretty long history of sharing resources, and the VCBN was kind of, um, came about in order to just organize some of that resource sharing that we, that we were already doing. So uh, we generally divide that up into, um, sort of loosely into committees. So uh, we, the recycling committee is a really important one because we share donations, uh, donated bicycles from around the city. Uh, between the three shops, depending on who has space um, and the needs of the different programs of each shop. Ideally, if a bike is salvageable, um, we're going to fix it up and refurbish it, but um, so many of the bikes that we get are either maybe unsafe, the frames are just totally damaged, um, or it would take so much work to fix the bike, and we have more bikes than we'll ever be able to deal with, so if, if a bike for one of those reasons is deemed that we just aren't going to build it up. Um, we recycle the metal. Um, so it is better than someone throwing it out. So one of the things we know is that people will throw bicycles in the garbage if there is not a place for them to be recycled. So one thing that people like about community bike shops is that they can throw their garbage into them and we will take that garbage and turn it into someone's mode of transportation or a piece of art or we'll recycle it. Yeah, so once we deem one of those bikes that we're gonna we're gonna recycle it, we will strip it down to save any parts. Um, and so what that looks like um, is one of our volunteers, sometimes like a newer volunteer, just taking everything off the bike. Um, and sometimes some of our more experienced volunteers will can teach someone how to do that process. The really nice thing about stripping a bike that's going to be recycled is you don't have to worry about messing it up. So it's a really low pressure thing. Um, and that's a, in that process you're actually doing something that's really needed for the shop and then you're also, yeah, learning all the parts that come off a bike. Then the other alternative is if we have bikes that we're going to build up and so you, you make that decision based on the quality of the bike and how much work needs to go into it. And what that looks like, usually when people think of building a bike, they think of like taking a frame from scratch and building that up. Um, I would say that's rarely what we do here. Lots of people work on projects like that in the shop, um, but actually to have our volunteers doing that isn't the best use of time. So what we really are doing is refurbishing bikes. I came to uh, Kickstand um, as, as a customer first last July, I think it was. And, uh, weeks later I got hired on as a volunteer mechanic. Um, I got drawn into this place. Actually I was referred by a friend who told me that um, I can bring my bike here and get it fixed and um, I fell in love with it right away. Kickstand is a lot different from um, a lot of other places that I volunteered and uh, one thing that I noticed right away was everybody here worked as a team. You know, helping people is a reward in itself. I just love the way everybody works together. And, and I think probably the best thing is we become part of the family. Kickstand, as a community for me, um, a huge portion of that is that there's a place that I know when it's open, and I know there'll be people there that I know. Um, I don't have to text, I don't have to call, I don't have to prearrange, I can just show up. So if I'm volunteering or not, I use this as uh, a place where if I'm having a hard day and I need to talk to somebody, I show up and I know there's somebody here that I can, hey, do you want to go grab some food? Or can I talk to you for a minute? Or just to be around people. One thing that I really like about Kickstand is that it, it is a community space. And I'm just, I'm really proud of the fact that 
we have couches in the front that we have space for people to just come in and like take a seat and people do do that um and people do just come in to say what's up and do just come in to like look around and they don't feel people don't feel like they have to justify their presence in the space by paying and i think yeah that's actually sadly pretty unique yeah, i think because lots of people come into community bike shops um because they're they're looking for friendly people that they can share ideas with and um you know try creative problem solving and some people that you know some people have mechanical skills but they don't have people skills and they are able to kind of supplement that through the sort of skill sharing environment that we have here and vice versa as well people who are really friendly and outgoing and they want to learn a new skill um, have transformed into really confident mechanics so um, yeah whether or not the goals are the same I don't think anyone who comes into a community bike shop is unchanged by it people um, that are especially volunteers here um, I think they really kind of see this as a place where they can just they're always welcome um, yeah my dream is that everybody feels <laughs> feels that all the time <laughs> Oh, are you going to interview on camera? No, you're not going to interview on camera.